All right. Sir, I find you in violation of Penal Code Section 1211, Subdivision A. I find that you have committed a contempt of court specifically. Specifically, Penal Code Section 1209, Subdivision 6, Subsection 2, for the breach of peace, boisterous conduct, or violent disturbance, and need to interrupt the due course of the trial or other judicial proceedings. Your Honor. I'm not done. The contempt was committed in my direct and immediate view. I didn't have a warning, though. I'm not done speaking, sir. In my direct and immediate presence, it happened. While the court was in session, the defendant who is on trial before this court designated his desire to call you as a witness, that you are a recipient witness to the crime that he has been charged with here. I merely ask you your name for the purpose of, number one, telling you that you would be excluded from the courtroom during these proceedings because he had indicated his intention to call you as a witness. You specifically chose to be disrespectful to the court, sir, I'm not done, to be disrespectful to the court by engaging in a fiction of names um, and playing a word game when the court asks you a very simple question, what is your name? It was merely for the purpose of letting you know that you were excluded and letting our deputies and everyone else know that you would be excluded from the courtroom except when you were called as a witness. Um, do you have anything that you would like to say to me now that I have cited you for contempt? I'm sorry, and I wish I had a warning. You don't have to have a warning for that. You have to have a warning for insolent tone. I'm not giving you a warning, but you said you're sorry. Would you now please provide your name? James Goodbody. All right, Mr. Goodbody. At this time, I accept your, I accept your apology. I am not going to find um, beyond a reasonable doubt that you have committed contempt. The contempt proceedings are dismissed at this time. Sir, you are coming along, excluded from this courtroom during the proceedings, except when you are called as a witness. And once you have been excused as a witness, you may remain in the courtroom. You may also watch closing arguments. There's nothing to prevent that. Um, but at this time, you are excluded from the courtroom and you are instructed not to discuss your testimony, if you need to testify, with any other witness. 